One of the most incredible occasions in a ship's life is the day it is put to sea. The process of taking it from dry dock and getting it into the water is an incredible feat in and of itself. But every once in a while, these ship launches can go horribly wrong, leading to everything from wet spectators to massive amounts of damage, sometimes resulting in the complete destruction of the vessel that had just been built. From the United States to Indonesia, here are five ship launches that ended up going horribly wrong. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to Underworld for more just like it. Although many boats are built and put to water from a dry dock, there are some smaller vessels that are built and put to water differently. Most of the time, these smaller vessels are personal boats where customers order and have them delivered. That is the case here, when a boat was being delivered after being recently purchased by a local. However, upon delivery and launch, things did not go off as they usually do. During this launch, the boat was being put into the water using a large crane. Now, this is nothing unusual, as cranes are regularly used for jobs such as this. However, this job was a little bit different, as the water level was well below normal. One crane immediately to the side of the boat was responsible for lifting it and placing it into the water, while another crane in the distance had a line attached which would keep the boat steady, preventing it from turning one way or the other. But as the boat reached a certain distance from the shore, something went wrong, and the crane that was holding it tipped backwards, dropping the boat into the water and nearly falling into the water itself. It was evident that the weight of the boat was held too far from the center of gravity, being the crane. Luckily, the crane's extended arm prevented it from falling into the water. Additionally, if you look closely, you can see the driver escape just before the truck overturns. As for the boat, it took a hard landing and may have been damaged. However, it somehow remained afloat. Large boat launches are dramatic things to see. Believe it or not, though, not every launch is done in such a way. A few places in the world have a totally different way of putting these huge vessels into the water. Large cylinders are placed underneath the ships and then inflated, allowing it to essentially roll into the water. There is a flaw in this process, though. There's little support, and it's possible for the ship to tip onto its side. This is exactly what happened in Jakarta, Indonesia. On this specific day, a shipyard was attempting to launch a Coast Guard vessel by rolling it along the inflatable cylinders into the water. Suddenly, the ship started to list to the side. As the ship continued backwards, the list became worse, until finally, it crashed onto its side with the front part of the ship still on the land. Although everything seemed to happen at a slow pace, it was a very dangerous situation because there were sailors on board, riding the ship into the water. As the ship tilted to its port side, some of the sailors were able to hold on. Others were not so lucky and got thrown into the water below. The men that were left had to jump for it after the ship came to rest. There were a few minor injuries from this incident, but the ship itself ended up being scrapped after the accident. In the grand scheme of things, it's not very spectacular when smaller boats are put in the water. If you really want to see a show, check out the large tankers and cruise ships. These monstrous boats are built on dry land and then launched once they are almost completely built. When these launches happen, it's a pretty big event. 
Even though the spectators are kept at a safe distance, there are times when it's not quite far enough. In this video, we see that a large cargo ship is still under construction. However, it has reached the point where it is safe to be launched into the water where the construction can be completed. As the audience looks on, the ship slides in and creates a humongous splash. It comes much to the delight of the onlookers. That is, until they realize that the displaced water is rushing straight for them. The wave hits the shore and continues onwards. Although it isn't a big wave, it still has enough force to take a couple of people off their feet. while a few people ended up tripping and falling in. Near the end of the video, you can see a young family with two children, one of them being a newborn. They all escape unharmed, though incredibly wet. However, should the parents have not been able to keep their balance, things could have ended in a much different way. Failed boat launches aren't only reserved for large ships or yachts. It can also happen with small boats, like ski boats. It's rare, but it does happen. It mostly depends on the skill of the person steering the boat. That's precisely what happened in this video. Shot in September of 2014, this video shows a boat that was being launched from a small boat ramp at Lake Havasu in Arizona. The boat had already been in the water for a small amount of time when the driver wanted to slowly reverse it out into the lake. At first, things seemed to be going very well, but that changed rather quickly. The boat's engines kicked into high gear and sent the boat backwards. Then, the driver corrected his mistake, but overdid it quite a bit. Shifting the gear forward, the boat then went full speed back up the boat ramp and onto the concrete where it eventually came to a stop. Although it's not known whether or not this accident was due to a malfunction of some sort, the most likely cause is human error. The driver simply did not have much experience operating a boat, and as a result, crashed. Luckily, no one was hurt in this incident. Only the driver's pride. So far, we've seen some examples of ships being launched where people simply end up wet or sustain some minor injuries. However, there was one ship launch that ended up causing quite a few injuries. This was during the launch of a ship named the Reuben Lasker, a huge research vessel that was owned and operated by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Usually, when these large ships are put to sea, they slide along steel rails and fall into the water. But on this day, the rails were not made of steel, but were made of wood. So when the Reuben Lasker slid and hit the water, the wooden rails burst under the enormous pressure, sending a wave of water and huge chunks of sharp wood flying towards the onlookers standing nearby. Even though all the spectators survived, there were some injuries. Two people sustained cuts to their torsos and arms, while a third person was knocked unconscious when she was struck in the head. It is unknown who made the decision to use wooden slides as opposed to metal ones, but it was an oversight that could have ended with someone dying. Luckily, that didn't happen. For everything we've seen, one thing is for sure. Ship launches have to be precise, no matter how large or small. Even people who are relatively close by should stay very attentive. You never know what could happen. To see another video like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.